Hello and welcome to Benham and Reeves May 2022 Property Market Report, assessing how London has been performing and the key factors that are driving demand for homes to buy and let in the capital. The headline now is a severe shortage. The number of homes for sale today is historically low. With property scarce and a rise in the number of buyers, prices in London are rising. In fact, they're growing at their fastest rate since August 2016. Rightmove's latest house price index revealed that prices have risen across all London boroughs with the average asking price now hitting £677,000. That's a 6.6% year-on-year increase. Local footfall to our branches is also up 19% compared to last year. And the Easter bank holiday weekend was our busiest ever bank holiday for buyer registrations. Much of the demand is driven by professionals keen to return to city life, their offices, their social lives and the general buzz as they tire of long commutes and frankly, life in the country. Meanwhile, overseas investors are traveling again, keen to resume their investment plans and expand their property portfolios. After two years of lockdowns, the worst of COVID seems to be over and there's a real hunger to return to our previous lives now. The upshot of this is that it's creating a severe and chronic shortage of supply of properties for sale. Demand for brand new homes in new developments remain at the top of many buyers' wish lists. Beaufort Park in Collindale is just one such success story. Demand from both homeowners and investors remains exceptionally strong here. It's been a hotspot for buyers for the last 15 years now. However, today, a large number of Hong Kong B&O visa holders have been focusing on making the area their new home. Other residential developments, such as Chelsea Creek in Fulham SW6, One Park Drive in Canary Wharf, Nine Elms Point in SW8, Surrey Keys in SE16, and Royal Arsenal Riverside in Woolwich SE18 are in high demand, and we have people literally waiting to buy here. Prime Central London, including Kensington and Chelsea and Mayfair, is interestingly now also seeing an acute shortage of supply, with properties selling faster here than they have for the last 12 months, thanks mainly to the return of international buyers. And with travel restrictions easing globally now, we expect demand from overseas investors to lead to further price rises. And when it comes to the London rental market, this return to London life is having a dramatic effect with demand for rental homes at an all-time high, coupled with a chronic shortage of properties to rent. You know, we could let properties many times over, so high is the demand. And across our 19 London branches, we saw a whopping 37% increase in new applicants registering with us in April versus March. Our renewal rates are at an all-time high with 76% of tenants renewing for another year with rent increases as much as 25%. All of this is really good for landlords as the London market surges ahead and investors today enjoy minimal voids and rising rents due to the jump in demand and lack of availability. With a growing base of waiting tenants, properties are often letting on the very first viewing and in a growing number of cases without a viewing at all. Plus, we're actually seeing bidding wards leading to above asking price lettings. There are a lot of new completions happening at the moment, including the latest fairs at Royal Arsenal in Woolwich, Merino Wharf at London Dock in Wapping, Sovereign Court in Hammersmith, Prospect Place at Battersea Power Station and the first phase, a grand union on the borders of Wembley. However, in spite of this, we don't see much change in the supply imbalance and we forecast rents continuing to rise this year. So this is just a snapshot of the London current market, current housing market, and I hope it's given you a real feel for the level of demand for homes to buy and to let in London right now.